abundance when the indigenous people of this area nourished on salmon and Saskatoon's aplenty to now. The Armstrong Spalmshing Valley and its residents have found a way to provide for their own and the world at large. Through acts of ingenuity and relentless toiling, the first pioneers began systematically draining the fertile bottomlands of this once marshy valley to produce an array of marketable crops. From their debut as the celery city in the early 1900s to now, the Spalmsheen Valley has put farming first. Early farmers lugged ice blocks from Otter Lake to local packing houses to prepare their vegetables for shipping to distant ports. In response to low tonnage prices, these farmers joined forces to create farmer and community-run cooperatives. Rolling with the punches and economic changes brought on by the World Wars, residents once again came together to offset these changes. From building and operating a dehydration plant to building infrastructure to enable seed shipments out of the valley, the residents of Armstrong Spalmsheen rose to the occasion. In the mid-1970s, much of the valley's valued land was made locked tight under the agricultural land reserve. Today, the Spalmsheen Valley is a farming cornucopia. Between its age-old and famous agricultural exhibition and its countryside littered with dairy farms, poultry operations, fields of grain and seed, and small diversified farms with market gardens, to name just a few, this valley holds the promise of plentitude and full bellies to come. The residents of Armstrong Spalmsheen are thankful for the efforts and wisdom of previous generations who laid the foundations for this kingdom of plenty.